Hello everyone and welcome to episode 28 of my Agrarian Skies series. Today we are going to take a look at um, an infinite glowstone farm. Okay, so the first thing we'll need is Jellied Cryophium. Jellied Cryophium. Which you get from Cryophium Dust, which you get from Nitre, Snowball, Redstone, and Bliss Powder. Bliss Powder can either be obtained like that or by putting a Snowball and a Fluid Transposer with Redstone. Now we're gonna need a whole bucket of uh, Jelly Cryophium, and this only gives 100 ml buckets, so we need um, 5 sets. So we need, uh, I think redstone gives a hundred, so five sets means I will need ten pieces of redstone, a bunch of snowballs. So first thing first, cook up the redstone. And as you can see, we get we're gonna get some bleach powder. Now we're gonna need nitro, which I, f which I think we can get from pulverizing sandstone. Um, if I'm not wrong, yeah, by pulverizing. Oh, we might have already some nitro. Yep. So we need nitro, redstone. Was it redstone? Yeah, redstone. And snowballs. So. This is our 10 jelly cryophium. gonna fill it up and now we're gonna need energized glowstone so for that we're gonna need at least 10 pieces of glowstone that I need um, Oh no, I only need four pieces of glowstone. So we're gonna cook this up and put it in here. Now next up we're gonna need the terrain smasher. Which is gonna going to require an in for pickaxe. And a pneumatic servo. The run smasher, and finally a redstone clock. So, last thing we need is an interface. Oh, uh, yeah, an interface. Or we could go with a tesseract, but interfaces are cheaper. Missing glass. By the way, I have news. So. You might remember that um, oh yep, the 
this one. So, as you remember, this thing does sometimes get stuck. So, I recommend if you're having this problem, make sure it's in in, it's in only one chunk. Oops, didn't mean to hate F8. Should have my warp book on me. I should get rid of these. Um, is that it? Probably is. Just get some glass for building purposes, and we should have our interface. Are you missing something? There we go. So, do I need to fly? No, probably not. So, um, I need to remember. Jelly Cryophium flows five blocks. It's better if I grab buckets. cables I've got them on me so to be honest I don't really know where to put that form um, maybe just here will be good enough So I don't recommend gel do <laughs> as you can see. Jelly cryophium does produce no. Um the I think it flo it flows five blocks if I remember correctly. Um this is it. Then what we are gonna do is Plug this turbine smasher just here. This is probably not the block I wanted you to break, so thank you. And uh I'll need my water. I'll need my my water bucket. It's a bit loud. Wow! I almost jumped into that. Now I need to
Alright, so cool. Now what I need to do is put this in a put the cap on here. Set this thing to high. Put a redstone clock on here. And last but not least, put this here. And as you can see, bam, and then it's gonna get broken. infinite glowstone isn't that awesome last thing I need to do is hook up the interface and we're good to go no easy way to get down um, aim cables where is that interface right here And there we go. We've got infinite glowstone produced at a rather fast pace. As you can see, our glowstone is going up. Do I have a sound muffler in the system? No. This is way better. So we're already 13 minutes into. Oh my god. Um, no power? How is that possible? Have I broken something? I don't think so. I mean, this one's getting power, but not this one. Hmm. Well, it's hooked up. I don't know why it's not getting power. Um. I found out why uh, but and we might have not might we have some redstone energy conduits and uh, we just need to hook that back up I don't know how it got knocked off and yep this should be going again perfect and now our fertilizer as you can see our farm is way more efficient since we are producing fertilizer. Uh, fertilizer is just wood, uh, string and bone meal. So the, the only part we could hurt on is um, 
string because bone bone meal is uh, I mean wheat is getting produced wheat is getting produced here and um, bone meal is comes from both our mob farm and sifting stuff and wood we have a ton of as you can see the bone meal I left in here last episode is gone and I have hooked up those bowels so any excess um, excess items which comes from this are just getting through thrown into here and they're getting converted into singularity things. sorry and are getting uh, transformed into singularities which are getting used which are gonna be used to um, make remote applied energistic spaces so this is still going and it produced as it produced the last time one more octopal compressed cobblestone three quintuple and have a seventh compressed cobblestone which is a pain just need some sticks this is the most efficient way to craft patterns um. oh my god And here we go. Just gonna sixty four K fluid storage. This is quite nice. Um yeah, and as you can see, this is really cool quests. I mean, uh, easy. Um, milk does a zombie good. Which I just gonna want to show something, just a quest thing, quest delivery system, and. What you do is you select task, right click on the um, thing and just take fluid ox. And as you can see, it's going up. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you all next time. Oh, no, wait. Just need to show you something really cool. Um, just gonna take the redstone comparator so redstone I know it's never it's uh, three torches never no two torches three never quartz and three pieces of stone but shift click oh. it's completely wrong but oh well and I just need classic old redstone so what the the quest delivery system does is when it hasn't complete when it has completed 
completed the quest, when it, uh, I mean, is trying to complete the quest, will emit a redstone signal. So, low. So yeah, it will turn itself off and stop consuming milk consuming milk when it has finished so hope you guys have liked this episode i see you all next time cheers